such a quiet morning. There's this spot I used to see them in the morning having tea. The house feels so empty now. The reality hits you when they leave. Honestly, it still feels they're probably in the washroom or something. But no, they're back in India. I just checked, they just reached Delhi. This is how far it is. We came back from the airport, had our dinner, slept the night, and now after waking up, they just landed. The first few days are like this. <sighs> this is where I used to see mom in the morning making breakfast. Oh, I don't wanna cry, I've cried enough yesterday. We gotta get back to routine. But seeing mom cook so effortlessly, I'm really motivated to cook. No more tiffin, guys. I'm not going to do tiffin. I'm going to cook myself. Today, probably, I don't have to because I still have leftovers from mom. That's the best part. And for breakfast, we have something special. The meal that we had on the last day. Kachori and Kheer. Miss you, mom. Thank you for this. No more crying in this vlog. It's okay. Being with family is just completely different. Oh, can you imagine mom left a note on this? This is really cute. I was not expecting this. Love you, miss you, lovey Saranj. Always Guruji blessing you both. Be happy and healthy. Why are you making me cry, mom? This is really cute. Mom left a note. Oh, this. love you, miss you. Oh. So quiet. Last year, Saranj's mom was here, and when she left, we felt the same emptiness. But this time, obviously, my parents were here for a long period of time, so we just got so used to that routine. When I came downstairs, I was actually thinking, mom, dad will be sitting, you know, on those chairs and like having tea. Yeah. Paratha? No paratha anymore. Parathas are gone. It takes a lot of time to make stuff parathas. So we're coming back in routine. We just make something quick from tomorrow. Today. Last night also we had dinner sorted. All thanks to mom for yes. cooking us some extra meal. Yes, we have lots of it. I spoke to mom, dad, they've reached. Their flight was good. From the past three and a half months, we used to have breakfast here. But it feels nice to have kachori again. Just and eating mom's food, it still feels they're here. They're just around here, you know. That's the best feeling. That was really thoughtful of her to make some extra food for us. Yeah. Mm. This is the best combination if you guys want to try. Like chilled kheer with sizzling hot kachori. I should be in my office right now. But I don't feel like, I'm still gonna work. I kind of feel sick. Like not sick sick, but my body is telling me. Like inside, I'm obviously missing my parents so much. So I don't know, kind of feeling a bit low. And today, honestly, I'm just going to reset everything. Like my mind, my routine, everything around me. Basically just getting in the flow, you know? You know what I mean? It's so quiet. If you live with a family, we take that for granted, but living abroad, this emptiness, this spin drop silence is just, I don't like it. It's okay. I'll get used to it. This is where mom and dad were sleeping all these three months. And this room feels extra special now. I was literally smelling the sheets. I know you might think that it's just too much, but I'm a very emotional person. I'm sure we all love our parents and I love my mom dad way too much. And this is not the first time I'm doing this. Since yesterday, I've done this like a couple of times because this is reminding me of them. I know after a few days when I just wash all the bedding, it'll be gone. So just trying to, you know, keep this memory as long as I can. I'm just getting teary-eyed whenever I come to this room. I'm gonna miss them so much. I miss you, mom, dad. I really do. But honestly, seeing them in this house 
has made this house extra special i really wanted them to come and i don't know make use of all of this all the things that we have built and now that it has happened all the corners are feeling so special in my house i cannot even tell you this room feels so special those chairs downstairs feel so special my kitchen feels so special wherever i'm going it's just reminding me of all the memories that we have built together yeah i miss them but it just today it's the it's difficult right the day after your parents leave it's the most difficult day ever not on the day they leave but the next day after that when the reality actually hits you and today is that day so i'm sorry if my thoughts are just everywhere and if i'm being emotional on just little things around me but just sharing exactly with what's happening right now so it's been a couple of days and I'm definitely feeling a lot better now. Kind of getting used to the same old routine and one thing that's really helping me not to miss my family is cooking the same meals that mom was making. So yeah, I've been cooking a lot of Indian food, rotis. Yeah, I have been making rotis and they are turning out to be so good. I'm like shocked. It literally looks and tastes exactly how my mom used to make. So I'll share to you today because it's almost lunch time. I'm thinking to make egg curry. I have boiled eggs here, and oh, I have to show you something that has completely changed my cooking game. It has made my life so much easier. But before I show you that, I have to do something very important. So something I've been doing for a while now that's really helped me to keep my health in check is taking multivitamins. And guys, no matter how well you eat, it's really tough to get all the nutrients your body needs from food alone. And recently, I've been loving the Essential for Women 18 Plus from Ritual, which is also the sponsor of today's video. And I've been using Ritual since more than a year now, and I can really tell the difference in my energy levels. And they're so gentle on your stomach that you can take it with or without food. And what I really love about Ritual is it's non-GMO, vegan friendly and free of synthetic fillers and colorants and it is also delivered right to my door every month which is so convenient so I don't even have to worry about running low in stock. Ritual is all about transparency too. They have a visible supply chain so you know exactly where the ingredients come from and by any chance if you're not happy with it, which I doubt will happen, they offer a 30 day happiness guarantee and they'll refund your money no questions asked. So if you're looking to start a daily ritual that you can feel good about, Ritual is offering you all 20% off during your first month so just scan the QR code or go to the website ritual.com and use my code peekapoo to start today. Trust me, your body will thank you. And now back to making lunch. Okay, now let's not waste time and let's start chopping. I'm actually making two things. Actually, three things. Onions. Usually this is ranch chop, chopping. But today I thought I'll just vlog and talk to you guys. I have to tell you this. I don't know where this motivation has come from. Obviously, it's from mom but she didn't even push me that Pooja you should cook more and Pooja you should learn from me while I'm here this and that which I actually had plans for I really thought once she'll be here I'll cook with her and you know get in that flow but for the last three and a half months I didn't even enter the kitchen so I didn't learn anything from her but there is something I don't know since she has left I've been cooking all the meals and there's some satisfaction that you get right when you eat your own kind of food so for us it's indian and i love it oh onions cutting onions you know the struggle but i really hope i can continue with this mom has given me some magic in my hands i'm telling you and the best part i'm enjoying this and even better i'm not even missing mom that much i'm missing her but it's this is really helping it still feels she's around okay so now let me show you the thing that has completely changed the game something that has made my life easier is this instant pot 
Honestly, I was so confused if I should get it or not. And I've heard from a lot of people that for Indian cooking, especially this works wonders. And since years, I've been like, I don't know, in between for this. But I finally decided to get it. And also, mom, dad actually gifted this to me. So again, I think all the vibrations are coming from here. Honestly, when I was buying this, I thought it would just be another appliance on my counter space here and won't get fully utilized but let me tell you since the time i've bought this i have been using it almost every every day if not every day but every other day it's just one pot cooking you just put in everything put on the timer and you don't even have to stand that's the best part so again while i'm making my egg curry here i'm also going to make dal because for this i don't have to stand my egg curry is almost over till the time i need the dough You just have to throw in everything. I'll actually give you a proper review of the instant pot, what all things that I make and how I use it. But for that, you have to wait. Today is just a quick dal that I'm making in this while my curry is getting prepared here. Also, this minced garlic from Costco. This comes in really handy. This has no preservatives, just garlic. Highly recommend this. All I had to do was just make some Masala, put in all the spices, dal, water and now I'm going to pressure cook it for 8 minutes. Actually, let's just do it 10 minutes. And now I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to stand here. That's the best part. I can just go back, do my work and that's it. it smells so nice. And now let's make rotis. This is what I've been doing every other day we were literally considering to get roti matic but then we thought first let's get in the mode of like full cooking and everything and then we'll see if we need to but i don't know if it's really worth it so not sure this is fine too it just a little messy if the dough is done making rotis is not a difficult job at all so let's see how it goes what about your nails poor nails yeah. <laughs> having nails and doing this is a struggle because all the atta or the dough it gets inside which is not good yeah i'll have to cut my nails too mm. but it feels a lot better than eating bread every day roti is definitely life we indians need roti we can't do without it See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it takes a lot of energy too. <laughs> this is for three days, right? Yeah. Just have to do it today and then three days would be sorted. I'm proud of you, Peekapoo. I'm gonna get fresh, fresh rotis now. Thank you. When mom and dad were leaving, Saranj was literally so scared. Saranj enjoying paratha for one last time <laughs> i'm saying as if we will never get parathas bhai sab kabhi khana nahi milne wala pata nahi mile na mile he was like we won't get rotis anymore or the same food because obviously we thought we would just go back to tiffin but then it was me it was me guys saranj really wanted to go back to tiffin he was like we don't have time to cook but i told him no matter what we have to take out time for this because I really want to prioritize my health this year which has not been the case these past few years so yeah everything comes later health comes first so we exactly have to this. that's right good job now I have to let us sit you know I told mom that this is the only thing I just can't make. Roti is tough. Everything else I can make, but roti, I don't know. We'll miss this. Miss me gonna banana. It used to turn out really hard, but not anymore. It's like the perfect rotis that mom used to make. Ooh, I love when this happens. I'm enjoying this honestly. Let's do a taste test, no matter if it's good or not. This is a creamy I'm getting version. some rotis now. Mm. Perfect round roti. This is a creamy version of egg curry. 
Mmm. Wow. It has turned out so good. Yeah. You're turning to be a really good mm. cook now. All thanks to mom. This is where it's coming from. Exactly. How did you get that inner motivation to you know, know cook? It just mom left some Probably thing here. Because we've some seen some vibes I, and seeing her cook so effortlessly. Yeah. And I don't know. I just wanted to just do it now. You know. Seeing her cook every day motivated you to cook. I don't know what did. Mm. But we have been enjoying good food lately. And the best part <laughs> is our dinner is also sorted. Yeah, yeah. dal is done. And I'll just make some rice and we'll just have that rice. So yeah, life has settled back into its usual routine here living in Canada with my husband. After my parents went back home, it's back to just the two of us enjoying simple moments together, doing the chores and finding joy in the everyday. We are incredibly grateful for these moments, but we can't deny that we missed having our family here with us. We miss the laughter and the warmth of being together, but this is our life now. Just me and Saranj creating our path and growing together. We'll definitely cherish the memories we have made and we we'll look forward to the day we can all be together again. Until then, we'll keep living, loving and longing for those precious moments with our family. And hand and most importantly, I just want to thank you for all the heartfelt comments in the last couple of videos. It really means a lot and thank you for being a part of my journey and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.